Originally in 1870 in Italy, it was uh, built as a cargo ship to carry Italian mar marble all over the Mediterranean. Um, and then what happened to it? Then, uh, through a series of events, the steamship came into existence, which was much larger, could carry much more cargo. So she fell to the wayside as a carrier and began running contraband. Uh, ivory, art, wine, you know, guns, whatever uh, was black market at the time. Uh, uh, in approximately 1918, she got busted uh, by the Queen's Royal Navy and got impounded in the British Naval Yard. Uh, uh, she sat there for a number of years and then, uh, lo and behold, she was purchased by a wealthy Italian family that put a million dollars into her uh, and converted her from a cargo ship into a private yacht. At which point she sailed the world for many years as a luxury yacht. Uh, her last uh, ocean voyage was in 2007, where she pulled into Aruba and had a, and was pulled out of the water and had extensive repairs. And all the standing rigging that you see, with the exception of the masts, was replaced then, uh, as well as a, uh, a very thorough survey of the vessel. She then sailed on to Jamaica, Cuba, spent several months in Cuba, landed in Key West, and in 2008 ultimately landed in Clearwater. Uh, where she just fell into significant disrepair and ultimately sank at that point. Um, it is my mission right now. Okay, we, we pulled in here December 19th of last year uh, with the intention of staging only one week for a, for a haul out for a three year restoration. However, um, the, the uh, owner of the seafood shack was delighted upon her arrival and insisted that we stay. Uh, we've now uh, we're now we've now fallen into a desperate situation. Our 501c3 is about two months away, which will allow us to obtain funds uh, from contributors and give them a tax certificate. Uh, like I said, but right now uh, I'm going to plead to the public for donations and help. I've been, I've been uh, giving my heart and soul to this thing for since uh, about October of, of last year. Uh, every day coming out here, every day maintaining it and watching it, babysitting it. Uh, the, I took, I remember I went out of town for one night, for one night, and uh, I came back in and, uh, you know, it was disaster struck, you know. One night I went to uh, go to a board meeting uh, after working all day at the boat works, and uh, Something told me to go check the boat. Well, I came down the boat and here it was, waist deep in the hallways. But uh, my onboard pumps were able to maintain it. I got her pumped back out at about one o'clock in the morning. That was back in October. So at that point, I kind of knew we're, we're approaching, you know, like I said, the only thing holding us from haul out right now is cash flow. And uh, so we're, we're reaching out. That's the big thing right now. Then I, by the time I got down here and saw her underwater, I just, uh, you know, I'm very calm. I look at it like this. I'm a boat builder. This is just another hurdle. Just another hurdle to get us to where uh, we need to be. But again, I, I stress the fact that we need to, we need to do something quickly. We need help. We need about 20 grand.